Hello everyone, welcome back to Lewis News. Today we're going to be talking about Josh Hutchison and him playing a live action version of Spider-Man. Now that's probably a sentence that hasn't been uttered in a very, very long time, but today's news comes from Josh Hutchison himself talking about obviously playing Spider-Man, auditioning for that role, and potentially wanting to do it in the future. So I think it's a really, really cool subject that we've got today. Not entirely relevant to anything that's kind of on the brink of being breaking or anything new that's coming up, but kind of reflecting and almost maybe even looking towards the future potentially at maybe projects to come. I think it's really interesting and here's what he had to say. Essentially he has basically said that he would love to still go for live action Spider-Man. He would still love to play the character at some point down the line and he's obviously seen coming off the back of Spider-Man No Way Home that the multiverse is a possibility. We had Nicolas Cage as Superman in the Flash movie. We've had obviously Toby and Andrew come back to reprise their roles as Spider-Man in No Way Home. We've got Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We've got the Spider-Verse movies, which brought Donald Glover back as the Prowler. There's so much happening with the multiverse, so many cameos, and I think Josh Hutchinson just wants a piece of the pie. Like, he's open to being a cameo as Spider-Man, as Peter Parker. It would be cool, because as we do know, he was actually one of the few actors who auditioned for Peter Parker when the Amazing Spider-Man movies were actually coming out. He was one alongside Andrew Garfield, who auditioned auditioned for the role, which is really, really cool. And then if you guys do remember as well, his name was also thrown back in the ring when the amazing Spider-Man movies ended up getting canned. Spider-Man was taken by Marvel Studios, transferred over to the MCU, and they came to that agreement. Obviously, they ended up casting Tom Holland, but alongside him, Dylan O'Brien was also within a shot of playing Spider-Man, and also Josh Hutchinson's name was still thrown back in the ring for a chance at playing the character. So I think it's really, really interesting. His name has been so heavily tied to Spider-Man in the past. And this is kind of like a nostalgic throwback because I remember news channels back in the day and articles back in the day, like Seven Webheads and many other YouTube channels that would post videos about Spider-Man back in, you know, 10 years ago, 2014, 2012, whatever, that era of YouTube would always talk about Josh Hutchinson possibly playing Spider-Man in it. It feels nostalgic to me because obviously now I'm here doing this, talking about Josh Hutchinson playing Spider-Man. But yeah, the actor claims he still wants to be Spider-Man, which is really, really cool because maybe it might happen at some point in the future. Who knows? Maybe if, obviously, we've got Ultimate Spider-Man by Jonathan Hickman, if that ends up being really successful, obviously that's a older version of people. Peter Parker, potentially a few years down the line, maybe 10 years down the line, we might start getting older Spider-Man movies that are adapting older versions of Peter Parker. Obviously, since Miles Morales is becoming a very popular character now as well, Peter Parker is kind of transitioning into this older figurehead in the Spider-Man mythos. Obviously, the Spider-Man PS4 games is a massive mainstream example of this. Obviously, the Spider-Verse movies, another massive mainstream example of this. And the Ultimate Comics, now by Jonathan and Hickman obviously portraying an older version of Peter Parker. So if any of these things ever make it to the movies, Josh Hutchinson, 10 years down the line, will probably be at that age where he could potentially play that version of Peter Parker. And that would be really cool to see. Once again, it would be a nice nod to him going for the role maybe 20 years ago, however long it'll be by then. Obviously, he has to be the right fit for the role, and the likelihood is he probably won't be cast. But I think if the interest is still there from the actor, if he still wants to audition, that would be really cool. Another instance, where we could see Josh Hutchinson play Spider-Man in a future film, as I mentioned earlier, is the multiverse. Like, for example, we had The Flash that brought back many actors for, obviously, Superman. How morally correct that was, that's a completely different question. But obviously, taking that in the same vein, we had Toby and Andrew in No Way Home, we have the Spider-Verse movies. Cameos are a big thing, whether you like them or not, in Hollywood at the moment. So Josh Hutchinson possibly throwing on the costume to play an iteration of Peter Parker in a multiverse movie. Maybe even similar to how John Krasinski, obviously the fan cast for Reed Richards, ended up playing him in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Maybe we could get something like that. Who knows? But yeah, I think this is really interesting. I thought it was really funny. But I wonder what you guys think in the comment section down below. Would you take Josh Hutchinson to play Spider-Man at some point in the future? Or do you think he's way too old? Or do you think potentially he could play an older version of Spider-Man? Who knows? I want to hear all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe because this is your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. We cover everything from the games, the movies, and the shows. We've got a bunch of stuff happening this year. Craven the Hunter, Man and Web, Venom 3, Spider-Man Freshman Year. Everything's coming out this year. We've got a bunch of stuff to cover and you're going to want to stay in the loop. So make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.